One of the toughest problems in tennis is to put away a volley. Just ask Andy Roddick, who was one of my favorite top tennis players in the world. He just couldn't put away a volley. And I felt like he could have been coached by a certain volleyer like John McEnroe or Stefan Edberg. If he was coached by a certain volleyer, I think he'd have, he would have won maybe one or two more slams. And so why, why is that? Why is a uh, put-away volley tough to do? Well, simply put, because of the swing path, right? So any good volley has this high-to-low motion. So when you check out my volley here, and I'm just volleying from the ball machine, it's a high-to-low motion, and whenever you do that, there's you're imparting some slice or some underspin. And any kind of slice or underspin means that that ball is going to go a little slow, but you do need that, right, for control. So you need that high to low motion for your volleys. But on a put away volley, if you really want to put away these volleys, you're going to need to add some power into it, not just control. So what are you going to do? So let's check this point out here. I'm here at the far end, about to hit a backhand. Andrew's here at the near end. And let's see what happens here. And there's my high volley put away. So let's check out the technique on the high volley put away. What exactly happened? So when I set up for this high volley put away, the difference is that I lay my racket ever so slightly back, right? So in a very traditional volley, my racket doesn't lay back like this. It's my racket is pretty much in front. But if you wanna add that little power, you gotta lay that racket back. So let's zoom in a little bit more here and see what it is. And so check out my racket there and how it's just ever so slightly laid back. And when I strike the ball, I move my wrist forward. So ch check out my wrist here as it goes forward. What's happening is I'm pronating into the ball. I'm pronating my forearm um, and that's what creates that power on the high volley put away. That snap of the wrist right there um, adds that racket head speed and that power. And if you notice here where I, tar where, where I target the ball here, I'm targeting right in the middle of the court, right? So right there. I'm not going for placement. You know, if I place it, it might not be enough, right? And it might be even riskier. I'm going for power. All I need is to add that power. Andrew's not going to get it. Andrew's a very fast player, so placement may not be enough. you got to add some power in these put-away volleys. And here's another view, uh, behind the back view, and here's me about to put away this volley. And I want you to notice my wrist a little bit, how it lays back. Just lay your racket back, lay, lay your wrist back a little bit. And the movement's very subtle. It's very quick but also very subtle. And you really have to look at what's happening with my wrist here. And so as, as I strike this ball here, my wrist moves ever so slightly forward. Um, again, it's, it's a very quick and abrupt motion, but that adds the power to that volley. And it's, it's good enough. When you, when you power these volleys, regardless, you know, I got pretty good placement on this, right? But if you can get it, here, here would be good enough as well. So, um, you know, if you get enough power on these volleys, you're going to put them away. If you enjoyed this video, kindly do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.